Hey everybody, it's great to be with you and I uh, hope that you're doing well uh, on this day. Just want to bring you up to speed on a couple of things that are going on in the life of our church. Uh, as far as prayer concerns, uh, I hope that you would remember uh, Don Allklaus, that's Dot Dot um brother, uh, has been ill and looks like we'll be going into uh, health care. Uh, so you want to lift up Dot and her family and Don and his family uh, during this time. Uh, also, uh, Margie Henning is still uh, at home in hospice and continued prayers for her and for her family are greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, one of the things that we've been praying a lot for is uh, are the uh, for our expect for our expected mothers, not necessarily in our congregation, but expected mothers uh, in our community and around the world and in our country, uh, particularly in light of the pandemic uh, situation. So, uh, if you know of uh, someone in your family or someone in your community, your neighborhood, uh, who is who is expecting. Uh, please lift them in prayer, and if you'd like to, please feel free to share their name uh, with us that we can share it uh, on uh, on Sundays during worship or during this time that I'm with you um, on the on the video. Um, the final uh, request of prayers are what I call unspoken prayers, and those are uh, the needs of members of our church family that uh, I cannot share with you. Uh, for confidentiality reasons, but I would just ask in your time of prayer, uh, when I do mention unspoken, if you would lift those, uh, if you would lift those as well. There are there are a few, um, several things that are going on uh, also in the life in the life of our church. Um, I, I am been thinking a lot the last week uh, that we are getting close to going back to school, and um, depending on where you live. Um, going back to school in this pandemic is a little bit of a crisis and a little bit of anxiety, not just for families, not just for parents rather, but for their children as well. And so uh, Dana and I have decided to uh, come up with a plan uh, on, the, on the 31st of August. Um, and I'm telling you now, uh, we're going to have what's called a, a blessing of the backpacks. Uh, most of our schools are going back on the 31st. I know that some will be going back uh, the week of the 23rd. But on the 31st, um, on that Sunday, uh, we will, or that the 30th that Sunday, I'm sorry, the 30th that Sunday, um, we're going to offer during our children's time a blessing of the backpacks, and she and I are going to do that together. And um, one of the neat things about doing this is that um, as you all are going back to school, so is Pastor Tom. Uh, I began my last year, or what I hope is my last year, in the Doctor of Ministry program at Eaton Seminary. So uh, Monday the 31st will be the first day of school for me, and so uh, we're going to ask you to bring your backpacks to, to worship that day. Uh, we'll say more about it next week as well, and we'll have a blessing not only for your backpacks, but for you, but for your parents, especially in this time of uh, of, of a little bit of anxiety. Also, on the 23rd of this month, a week from this coming Sunday, uh, we're going to be uh, having uh, the Freedoms Bingo on Zoom, and there'll be there'll be more information about that uh, in this piece of Freedoms uh, news newsletter or e email newsletter that you get, as well as the next week. So, six o'clock on August 23rd. Come ready to play a little bit of bingo with your church family. The last thing I would share with you is that on the 13th of, of September, it's hard to believe, yes, we are to September. Uh, the 13th of September, we're going to be worshiping outside um, at 9 o'clock on the church parking lot. Um, we're going to be honoring and recognizing and affirming our confirmands for this year. They have waited low three months to be confirmed, and so we are finally going to make that happen on uh, September 13th at 9 o'clock and it will be out it'll be outside we will be not social distancing we're not using social distancing we're using the word physical distancing set apart so all of that information will uh, will be uh, forthcoming in the next in the next week or two on Sunday we're going to be talking about unity and what does it mean to be 
unity in the body of Christ. Uh, so I hope that you'll join us. Uh, the, the scripture passage for that way that week, that Sunday, uh, is a is a short one. It's Psalm 133. So I hope that uh, the rest of your week goes well. Uh, that you go and uh, have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully the weather's going to be cooperative. That you can get outside and do some things. And it's great to be with you. It's great to see you. And I pray God's blessings on you. Take care. Bye.